everyone. I know I'm kind of doing a live outside of normal times, but um, sometimes we need to. Now, don't know where you are, but I got hit by a supercell storm last night and I couldn't stand up in the wind. I came out, I could not stand up in the wind. The wind, the rain, it came from all directions and I've never had this happen to me before, but my system's crashed. The, it, the grow bed has collapsed. It's gut-wrenching. Um, now, the way I have my system set up, I was able to save my fish. And they're currently running as if they're in an aquaculture setup. So they've got the fish tank, the solid waste separator, and a filter in the sump, and then the water goes back into the fish tank. But there was a bit of quick thinking on my part to make that happen and I had to refer to my emergency what do I do thing. And that's the thing about trauma and shock is that it, it stops you from thinking logically, rationally and if you're devastated about something it can um, it can certainly affect you. Now I know I, I take aquaponics really seriously. I, I'm pretty different to a lot of people in that regard to me. Every living creature deserves our respect and even if we even if we plan to eat that um you know the fish beef chicken whatever we deserve they deserve and we have the obligation and the right in my opinion to look after them while they're living and then to slaughter them in the most humane way so that's why i'm very particular about how i build my aquaponics system and how i teach people about aquaponics it's looking after your fish looking after your bacteria and your plants. Now, my plants, are, they're all gone. Um, I had to pick up what was left on, on that regard. So I, I could get, so I got the last of my basil. That's about it, everything else was gone. Um, I'll turn the camera around in a moment just to show you. But before I do, um, I'm not gonna apologize for being upset and I might not be showing it, but I'm absolutely devastated by this. It's um, that's what happens when you when you really love something and it's going to take a hell of a lot of work for me to fix this just purely I'm here alone at the moment and my grow bed is rather heavy even without all of the expanded clay so that's going to cause a few problems but and just the fact that I've got to start from scratch again I've got the bacteria in the aquaculture part of the fish tank and that that um, I've lost all the bacteria in the grow bed so if I can't get it up and running soon, I, I can lose my fish if I don't know what to do. And luckily, because I have that aquaculture background training, I know how to look after lots of fish in an aquarium or in an aquaculture system. So once I got the fish settled and just got the aquaculture part running, I um I wanted to make sure that they were like, okay, because obviously they were stressed out with the storm. They were stressed out with everything that was happening. They could hear noises, they could hear candy swearing. Um, and as an energetic person, I believe that every animal and thing, including our plant, plants, feel our energy. So they would have certainly felt me stressing out a bit last night. So anyway, um, regardless of whether you're down that path or not, I checked the water levels, the water quality levels last night and then again today. And this is the nitrite. So that's purple, that's a better one part per million it should not be like that and that is the testament to how stressed my fish are if i keep it at that level and keeping in mind that my bacteria has just been minimized by oh my god um my whole grow bed uh that's to be expected that they're going to be stressed they're going to be breathing faster and they're going to be showing signs of stress now looking at my fish and giving them a really good look today they're not showing signs of stress they're not even breathing faster, which I would have expected them to, but they're not. Um, there's no discoloration, there's no gasping for air, there's definitely no floating. Um, there's, there's no flashing, there's, there's no any of that, which is awesome. I'm so happy about that. But because I'm on town water, I can't just keep filling up my tank, um, my, my sump and doing water exchanges. Um, because I do have some bacteria in that sump, so I've got that problem. Um, so I've added some salt directly to the aquaculture part because I don't have to worry about it going into the plants at the moment. And this is just to help reduce their stress, which I will eventually flush out once it's under control. Um, so I'm someone who believes in being prepared 
and I did. Every, I knew about the storm coming. I did everything possible to make sure that everything was going to be okay. You can't force. You can't fight nature. I can't change what's happened. So it's dealing with what's happened. So my first priority was my fish. So the fish are now in the aquaculture setup and looking after their water quality. I have bacteria in the sun, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, the next is then working up the grow bed. What, do I, what are my options? What do I do? Well, I've started taking some of the clay out. Doesn't look like the grow bed itself is damaged. It's just totally being lifted up and I'll show you in a minute. You'll see. You will understand that we have a devastation there. Um, I can't do anything about losing the bacteria in the grow bed, but if the grow bed is intact, which I suspect it is because I've got water still in there, in the gravel, um, which is a good thing, then I can put it back and put it all back together again. This is where it's important to know your design and understand what you can do, as well as everyone sits and says, why does candy have so many valves? I don't like the look of valves. Okay, great. I'd you don't like them, that's fine. If I didn't have valves on my system, I could have lost everything last night. And I might not have been able to cut off and turn off the hydroponics part, so the plant growing part, and just had the aquaculture part. I've been able to do that because of the valves, because of how I've designed everything. And that's the thing. I didn't, there's no way I could have predicted this was going to happen. In 15 years, I've never had this happen. I've never seen this happen. First time for everything and I'm the one experiencing it, so it certainly does happen. Um, so we'll turn the camera around and we'll show you why candy's a little bit devastated right now. See? That grow bed's kind of on an angle there. <laughs> it ain't supposed to be. So I've taken, I've been taking out all the, the clay. I started it last night. I know, I stayed up and I got very wet and ended up hurt myself doing it. Um, so all the bacteria in there has been lost, um, but you can see that floating bag right there, that's got the coldness one, so it's got the aquaculture grade um, fireballs or filtration media in there, and I've also got more underneath that piece of polystyrene. So that's how I know that my fish are going to be okay. So the fish tank itself is okay and the sump is okay it all got you know pulled apart but um i've been able to put it all back together again and if i didn't have that valve up here i would have lost that extra 100 liters of water and if i didn't have the valve down the bottom down there i could have also lost more that enabled me to keep the water in the fish tank at the time when everything else started falling apart and when i say falling apart that's interesting because these are glued in, like with the proper cement um, and everything. And that's, yep, lifted up, toppled over and what a mess. Anyway, so I have a plan of attack. I know what I'm going to do. And um, we're starting again, aren't we? But that's, that's what happens and it is what it is. I can't change it. I've only got to work with it from there. So I wanted to show you all that shit happens to me too. <laughs> Even when you do everything possible to prevent, shit can still happen. Alright, well, I will still be here on Thursday to have a chat with you about... I've forgotten the question, I'm sorry. I've been a little bit preoccupied. Um, my inside house has been a bit of a mess due to the storm as well. Everything got knocked over inside too. I don't know how. This did. It's like the vibration of something. Just It's like an explosion hit and that, that vibration of the aftermath is what happened. Anyway... Um, See, I'll be on Thursday, and um, I hope you're all okay. Take care, and yeah, bye.